Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Morphin DJ, and today we're going back to the Power Rangers Legacy Collection to take a look at the green slash white ranger Legacy Power Morpher. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here it is. The Power Rangers Legacy Collection Green slash White Ranger Edition Power Morpher. So originally released in 2013, this Power Morpher was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So, like always, we're going to take a look at the Morpher, take a look at the coins, going to try out the lights and sounds, but first, let's look at the box. So, up front, we have the green and the white ranger looking awesome side by side. We have the Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers badge right here. Legacy Power Morpher Green Slash White Ranger Edition. We have the Green Ranger coin here, the White Ranger coin here, and uh, you can see that they are the weathered uh, coin. They have a darker look. They are die cast metal. They are pretty amazing looking. Right here it says die cast. And then right here we have the Morpher itself. And if you look, you can see that the Morpher has a bronzier look to it rather than the uh, chrome look that the other Morphers have had in the line. Bandai 15 plus. All right, we look at the top. Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Legacy Power Morpher, Green Slash White Ranger Edition with the green and white ranger. Then we go over to the side. We have an image of the White Ranger holding Saba, Legacy Power Morpher, Green Slash White Ranger Edition, Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Bandai, ages 15 plus. We go to the other side. We have the Green Ranger in a pose, Bandai, 15 plus, Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Legacy Power Morpher, Green Slash White Ranger Edition. And then if we go to the back, we have an image of the Morpher and both coins. Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Legacy Power Morpher, Green Slash White Ranger Edition, Bandai, ages 15 plus. We have an image of the Dragon Coin, an image of the White Ranger Coin, an image of the Morpher, and then right here, two die-cast coins. And then right here, plays theme song with lights and sounds. And that says it's in a few different languages. And then right here, it says the story. So we'll zoom in on that. So if you guys want to pause and look at that, you can. Now if we look at the bottom, eh, nothing. All right, so that is the box. But as always, we don't just want to see the box. We want to see the item within the box. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Hey, guys. Before we get into the rest of the video, I have a question for you. Do you like my content? Do you want to see more of it? Are you just a fan of the Power Rangers in general? If you said yes to any of these, then I have a small request. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell to receive notifications of future videos. And now, on with the video. And here it is, the Legacy Power Morpher Green Slash White Ranger Edition. So off the cusp, this thing is just really, really good looking. It has the bronze look. This is die cast metal it's good and heavy it's got a lot of weight to it when you turn it over and around it looks very very similar to the lightning collection morphers that we are currently getting there are some differences however like i said before this is die cast metal pop it open and then of course it opens the same way it works very very similarly except this button is black on the lightning collection this button is red so, but on the back, we still have the Z for uh, Jew Ranger from uh, Kiryu Ranger Super Sentai. Another difference is the battery. So the Lightning Collection Morphers use three AAA batteries. This does not. This uses two of these little buggers. I despise these little things. It's super easy to lose them. But this morpher uses two of these, so that's what we need to put in it. Small Phyllis head screwdriver to open it up right here. It is mildly spring-loaded when you go to open it up. The screw does not come out of the lid. And then we just put the batteries in there. One. Two. And then we'll put the lid back on and we'll be all set. All right. Now that the batteries are in there, turn it over. So we open the handle. You'll look right here. There is an on-off switch, which is not on the Lightning Collection Power Morpher. So... Turn it off, turn it on. We get the communicator sound effect, which I really like. It sounds good. And then when we go to open it, press the button, we get a sound effect. Very nice. Now, if we hold it shut and press the button, does it give us a noise? It does not. But when we press and hold the button, it does play the original Mighty Morphin theme.
Now, if it's in the middle of the theme and you press the button, you get this sound. And you only get one blinking light, which is different from the sounds you get when you press and hold the button that way. And that's about all it does as far as lights and sounds. There wasn't a whole lot to the playabilities of these. Uh, the Legacy Morphers looked fantastic. They were good and heavy. The lights and sounds were great for the day, but as far as the playability, they just don't compare to the Lightning Collection Morphers. The coins, on the other hand, totally different story. I love the Legacy Collection Power Coins, especially uh, the original ones that were in the more weathered look, because A, they were very, very easy to look at. They didn't have as much shine on them, so you could clearly see the emblem or the dinosaur engraved in the coin. These are good and heavy, just like the Lightning Collection, but and made from die-cast metal, but they were thicker. They weren't really that hollow. This had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo in them instead of the individual Ranger helmets. There's nothing wrong with the Lightning Collection coins having the helmets in them. It's just that, you know, this is different. Personally, I like these better. I really, really like these better. The Legacy Collection coins did not have any kind of a key function to them, so all there was to popping them into the Morpher was just put it in there and kind of shove it in, and then it would stay in there nice and easy. And then if you wanted to get it out... This has a function that the Lightning Collection Morphers do not have, which is the Z on the back for Jew Ranger. You just press it, coin pops right out. Nice and easy. Placing the coin in the Morpher does not change what the sounds are like it does in the Lightning Collection Morpher. So if we have the coin in there, we press the button, we got the exact same sound effect. Nothing different. And then the same with the White Ranger Power Coin. You just put it in there, clip it in nice and tight, and then if you want to get it out, you just flip it over, Press the Z for Zoo Ranger, and she will pop right out. Nice and easy. The Legacy Collection Morpher did come with a belt buckle, just like the Lightning Collection Morpher does. So you take it and clip it in just like so. Clips in nice and tight. Doesn't go anywhere. You can clip it on your belt like so. However, the Legacy Collection Morphers could do this. Flip it this way and wear the Morpher in the belt buckle backwards, and it would stay in there nice and tight. This is how the Rangers wore their Morphers in Kyuru's Ranger Super Sentai. The Lightning Collection Morphers cannot do this, which is something that I miss. I really like that these could do this, because if you wanted to cosplay in your civilian mode, wearing the belt buckle this way, the way they did in Zoo Ranger, then you could. The Lightning Collection does not give you an opportunity to do that. Now here is a stand from the Lightning Collection Power Morpher, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference in the size of this, so if you wanted to display it like this on the Lightning Collection stand, you kind of could, but it wasn't really made for it. It's, it's different in some of the smaller intricacies. So if you wanted to rest it on it, it, it doesn't really go in there nice and snug like it did on the Lightning Collection. So you can, but you can't. Personally, I wouldn't. And now here it is next to the Lightning Collection Pink Power Morpher for a comparison. You can see there's a clear difference. This Morpher is mostly made from plastic, and the coin has a much shinier finish. Whereas the Legacy is made from die cast, and the coin has a more weathered look. I like this contrast better than this. However, the Lightning Collection Morphers do offer more playability. With the exception of being able to wear the Morpher uh, backwards like they did in Zoo Ranger. I do miss that. There is something new in this room. Can you identify what it is? Let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. This has been my review of the Power Rangers Legacy Collection Mighty Morphin Green Slash White Ranger Edition Power Morpher. I really do like this piece. It looks great. It's got good weight to it. The coins look fantastic. The sounds and lights aren't bad, but the Lightning Collection sounds and lights are better. There is, of course, more playability. I'm sure at some point Hasbro is going to release a Green Ranger and or White Ranger Morpher, so we'll see how that compares to this one. But until then, why don't you check out this video right here? I think you might like it. Guys, this has been Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and you know what time it is.